And we back! I've decided that this video will not end until we have a randomly generated player hit 99 overall. This might take some time. Because the 99 overall club is extremely, and I mean extremely exclusive in the game of 2K. In 2K's history, if this article serves me right, the only people to have a 99 overall while being an active NBA player was Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Kobe, Shaq, and Shaq did something special because all the way in 2K3 or 2K3 or 2K2, he was a 100 overall. Um, that's not even possible no more. So in today's video, the video will not end until an auto-generated player hits 99. Now I tested this, and um, it, it doesn't happen. So I changed up the settings just a little bit to make it a possibility. There is a slider in the game named Draft Class Quality. And we do a normal video that is at 50, which means that sometimes you have a draft class where everybody's a bum. Sometimes you might get one dude that blossomed into a superstar. I turned that up to 100. So that should mean that we get better draft classes, which means that we have better prospects for people to potentially hit 99. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and use that comment section, man. Every time I go away on a trip and I come back without uploading, I just want to give y'all more content. So if you got any ideas, put them in the comment section. So here it is, draft class quality all the way up to 100. We'll see what it actually means. I'll just take control of one team because, again, I'm not doing no rebuilding or nothing. But hey, when I say use that comment section, I'm being serious, man. It don't even have to be a 2K related video. If you want to see me do a certain quiz, let me and producer Josh know, and we can hook that up. I'm trying to go on a run. Every time I go on a work trip while I'm away from being able to create content, I come back and I'm like, let's get to work. And I got a docket with video ideas, but hey, hey, you can always have more. So the roster that I downloaded has everybody at 40 overalls. You got so many players at 40 years old. And the more I think about that, that's actually not going to be good. You know what? Let me load in a different class because this is a type of roster that will make the game crash after one year because 90% of the league retires and now 2K don't know what to do when you don't have enough roster spots. So, you know, we're going to load a different draft class where everybody's a 40. But this is real life, the worst version of basketball you can ever get. Final score, 7-7. Seven to seven. Oh, they, they still put up 50 points. You know what I'm saying? They still put up 50 points. There are actually some people in free agency that don't look too bad. If you ain't out there, out there recruiting in free agency... You know, getting these players from overseas, Danny Law? Hey, Danny Law might be the GOAT. The only problem is, I don't want him to be. So remember that this is all about the incoming draft classes, what type of player we could get, will we get a future Jordan, LeBron, Dirk, and so on and so forth. JK, it crashed already. That is not a good sign for today's video. I got to load in a different roster because something about that one just made it not work. Well, I, I should have probably tested these before I started up the video, but whatever. All right, y'all, so we found a roster that didn't crash in the first season. It took like three different tries, but we got one. Here's Greg uh, uh, Milton, who averaged 55 rebounds per. Uh, he is only a 67 overall shooting guard, but he was the only player or one of the only players that wasn't a 40. So, yeah, he did some things, you know? He did, he did a lot of things. I mean, he still shot 37% from the field, but this... That 55 rebound, I got to see what was the most rebounds he grabbed this season because uh, it had to be a lot. S 90, hold on. <clears throat> League leaders, you see right here. Somebody had a 98 rebound game, February 15th. Is that you or is there another version of you with the same name? I think there's another version in the NBA. Uh, there might be a couple Greg. Oh, there are a couple Gregs. I feel like there's a couple Gregs, y'all. Wait, no, this is actually wild. This is actually really wild. That's only one Greg. There's only one Greg. So we're just really glitched up right now. I'm going to go to Greg again. And it was like February something. He had a 91 rebound game right here. 94 rebound game here. 98 rebound game, bro. Th think about that. 98 rebounds. I mean, I guess everybody else in the league is 5'4", and he's 5'7", but still. Oh, and because he was the only player in the league that wasn't a 40 and and his imp oh not the only player there's actually a couple and y'all didn't want to sign them you try to tell me he's the only person they got a contract who know what leslie mcgee would have been doing he's 16 he might have averaged 100 rebounds per the nba is really bugging NBA, but what i want to show you if i go to standings quickly think of your mind every other team in the nba is a 40 overall you got one team where one player is a 67. He's not even good. He's just a 67. What do you think their record is? The best record in the league is, you got your answer? I bet you didn't say 80 and 2. I bet you didn't say 80 and 2. I, I know you didn't say 80 and 2. That 67 overall player made them an 80 and 2 team. This is not supposed to be about Greg. 
Because Greg might be a, a bench player by next season because his rookie class might be nasty. But they swept the playoffs. Greg is a is a Hall of Famer. I wish that this this 2K had more customization. Some of the other PC NBA games, or I guess basketball games out there, are way more um, way better when it comes to customization. I could change the NBA logo to something else, so I can make this the KOT for a Q League. But nope, technically we're still in the NBA, which is cool. But I want this to be different. I want to change every logo. The Raptors won the won the uh, the lottery. I did not look at the draft prospects. We about to live react. Will they have the next Michael Jordan in the first year? I would have loved to change every single logo, everything, to make this very unique, a very unique video for all. Adam Silver, the first overall pick is Eric Blackwell, who's going to start off as a 76 overall 18-year-old. I'll take that. You know, his, his potential might be through the roof, and 78 might be the best player in the entire league. I'm sorry, 76, but nope. There's a 22-year-old, Victor Palmer, who is a 7-foot power forward. Okay. All right, you know what? Since there ain't no Michael Jordan, the number one pick, I don't think nobody gonna match 77. Oh, we got a couple 78s down here, actually. Okay, interesting. How many of these players will blossom into superstars? We'll see. But immediately, if you have more than one pick, you're a championship team. If you have more than one pick, you're a championship team. Or if you went to go get Greg, because Greg was a free agent this offseason. Greg about to try to repeat. So this is, this is what I'm talking about. So because the draft class quality was up to 100, some players that were undrafted still got jobs because they're still better than everybody else. Undrafted here, undrafted here, undrafted here, undrafted here, undrafted here. Just a ton of undrafted players. And then he, here are the two people that actually drafted. They had the 15th overall pick, Ruben Fox, and they had the second round 12th pick. And he's a 75 as well. The first round pick and their second round pick are the same overall. They drafted. Oh, come on, man. Best player in the league right now is Mark Sims who was the ninth overall pick, 22-year-old in Chicago, you feel me? Next, uh, where's our guy? He's gone. Oh, where is Milton? Because I think we got to keep tabs. We got to keep tabs on Milton, man. We got to see what he ends up doing. He plays for the Seas right now. And guess what? He's a 69 overall. He's getting better. Is he started for the Seas, though? Is there any team that got like a start lineup of 70s? Uh, I guess we do. Every team has a start lineup of 70s. It's that fast. From a, a league, well, not every team, because, whoa. Um, but from a league with strictly 60s to a league where you got some 70s. Somebody going to put up some crazy stats in year two. I already know. Season is wrapping in Allen Roy. I almost said Roy Allen for some reason. Because I'm used to Roy. But it was, it's Allen Roy. 20 points per game. 37 rebounds per game, which is low in this association. Which means that people are hitting more shots now than they did last year. Two assists, three blocks per he was the 13th overall pick in this year's draft. 6'9 center. Come in and win MVP on his West Unsale stuff. I like that. Rookie of the year goes to him as well, as you can imagine. Hakeem Udo. I had to think about Ekbe. Ekbe and Hakeem Udo. Um, big men are going to dominate at least early on because everybody's missing shots. So there's going to be a ton of rebound opportunities. But eventually, it'll level out. You're going to see the short kings and the guards going to take over as well. But Earl Mann, okay, Scotty Barnes. 41 overall, Scotty, let's go. Anyone most improved averages seven points per on 23% from the field. Any small at 6'4". Six, four, six, four. Coach Bud, the Milwaukee Bucks ended up winning 75 games. Cool. The best guards here are 22, 17, and about eight. And then 22, 20, oh, I'm sorry, 18, 23, and two assists. This is crazy. Where's our guy? Did, did, did he fall off? He fell off. He went from the greatest player in our association history from one year to not being even one of the top guys in this year. Did the Celtics make the playoffs? Oh, they're the two seed. Oh, never mind. My fault. You ain't fall off. You ain't fall off at all. You might do it again. He's not even starting. He didn't get no PT this season from MVP to riding the bench in one year's time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my boy. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hey, you just got into the league at the right time. Wow, I can't believe our boy went from undrafted 90 rebounds in a single game to not get an OPT. And the Bucks do end up winning the championship. Let's go over quickly who led the league in most, you know, points in a single game. That's Darius right there with 54. Um, rebounds, 94 by E. Blackwell. 94 rebounds in a single game. Okay, okay. And then assists, you got eight, Aiden Ross, I guess. I don't know. I don't know who that is. 2K, stop bugging out. I wanted to make it so people could come straight in out of high school. You know, and they, they was bugging out. 
But we do have a guy here, and, and Terrell Kersey, who might immediately come into the league and be the best player. Now, it depends on progression here. Because some of the players drafted last year were 77, and they might they might do a big jump. I don't know. The best player in the league is Ramon Lopez. 50 badges? Oh, no, 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 no. This guy is about to be the greatest player in the league for a long time. He's got 50 badges going into year two. That's a wrap. I'm sorry. 50. Oh, there's a 44 badge. There's a 47 badge. Oh, his name is Abraham, by the way, not Aiden. Um, whoa. Whoa. Remember the name Ramon Lopez because he's about to be an absolute stud. The rookie second overall pick. I don't even know how you don't draft him first overall. He has 12 badges coming into it. Uh, but he's the third, fourth, the best, or it's tied for second best player in the entire league when it comes to overall. We have a league of 80s, y'all. Just in two years. We done got a nice little league here. All right, keep it going. Abraham. All right, almost average a triple-double in OKC. I feel you, little Russ vibes. Baby Russ, that's what they calling him. Baby Russ, other than, I mean, don't look like he's very athletic and tall, but almost average a triple-double. That's Baby Russ. Tyrone Hardaway. It wasn't even, it was a second round pick guy that won rookie of the year. And he's also a point guard. He almost averaged a triple double. Hold on. I mean, I guess with there being so many more missed shots, there's going to be a lot of more point guards getting a lot of rebounds. So it's going to be a lot of people that either average a triple double or get close to it. Then you got six man of the year going to Dan. Doug wins defensive player of the year. Andy Edwards, not Anthony, but Andy. This is like alternate universe stuff, by the way. <laughs> wins uh, most improved player. Coach Bud again continues to dominate in the regular season. I mean, his team overall in 85 is really, really nice. I mean, considering the circumstances, that's not bad at all. Not too bad. 23, 8, and 5. You'll take that. You'll take that. He, he still might have the brightest future of anybody in the draft class. Not the most stellar rookie season, but it, it, that don't really matter, you know? Did anybody actually average a triple-double? The answer is no, because Sherman Curtis couldn't get his rebounds. He's not a rebounding guy, but you got a few people that, are very, that were very close. Okay. All right. We're getting good, man. We're getting good. Next year... We might have a... Wait, who's the best player in the league right now? I, we might have a 90 overall going into next season. Uh, I don't know if Ramon Lopez is going to jump up that much in one season, but it's possible. When you have 50 badges, that's just Telegraph saying that, hey, anything is possible. Andre Cardo ends up winning uh, MVP. Cool. Anything can happen at that point. Players are eligible to enter the draft at the age of 18. Yes, sir. So now people are going to be coming in even younger than before, which means that they might be better than before. Because some of the best of all time came out of straight out of high school. You know, we trying to match that vibe. First overall pick, Portland Trailblazers take Homer. I like I like the name Homer. And he, ah, uh, what the heck? Yeah. Look, look, look. Okay, he's up to 56 badges. So next year, he 100% is in a 90 overall club. And then we're going to have a couple people. It did not take long for us to turn this league around to make it at least serviceable. I would watch this version of the NBA. I don't know if I would be hyper invested. Because the end of the score still end up sometimes at 81, 89, like it's the mid 90s. But I would still enjoy this game of basketball, you know. And it only took a few years for this league to do that, and that's a dub. Abraham Ross goes back to back, gonna go down in history as one of the greatest in our league. As you can see, the rebounding numbers are started to come back down to earth. Nobody, well, maybe there might be some people out there that's getting hella rebounds, but it seems like, for the most part, 12 rebounds right there, nine rebounds. Yeah, that lets, that lets you know. When he was a rookie, he averaged 30. Now he averages 9. So, a lot of stuff has definitely changed. Here's the former first overall, second overall pick who came in as an 80-plus. He's all rookie, uh, all NBA first team this year. So, that's pretty cool. But we actually got, like, good basketball, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The league ain't shooting 30% no more. There's actual parity here. I mean, the Milwaukee Bucks, again, are dominating in the regular season. But there's parody a little bit. The Bulls are good. And it just seems like everybody's eh. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can beat anybody on any given night. And those are the type of leagues you want to build. You don't want no super team leagues because who care about that? Uh, once you can get eliminated by anybody. But they, they, and they might get both get eliminated by the three seats. And they did. Okay. All right. All right. The Raptors might win the championship. And they do. All the way in seven. There's Eric Blackwell who at one point had a 90 rebound game. Yep. He had a 90-plus rebound game his rookie season. But now he's a finals MVP, only averaging 15 to 13. It quickly happened like that. All right. So we're only four or five years in, and things are looking good. We got 
people in the 90 overall club. Let's get to this year's draft class. Can we get the next Michael Jordan? Can we get the next Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Dirk Nowitzki? Somebody, somebody great. First overall pick, watch the Wizards select Freddie Cousins out of high school. He comes as an 84 overall, 13 badges. Um, his relations say upset. I don't know what that's about. It's been one day since we've been drafted. He is a 6'10 small forward shooting guard. What? Small forward shooting guard. Michael Porter Jr. type beat, I guess. Um, interesting. He can shoot. He can play make. He defends well. Post defense is good. He rebounds above average. This guy might be the truth. The, the shot tendency is decent. This guy might be the truth. He's got drop stepper, giant slayer, putback boss, rise up. Some shooting badges. Oh, hey, this guy might be the truth. Okay, all right, I'm really excited because we got multiple people about to hit 90 overall club. You got this 17 year old dude that just got drafted into the league who might take it over and it only can get better, right? It will not get worse. It can only get better at this point. The only thing I'm a little bit afraid of is people being in free agency that's good because since everybody's such a young player, oh no, everybody got a job that should have a job. I'm thinking because everybody's such a young player, everybody's going to want a bunch of money. But nope, not the case. Best player in the league. Oh, Ramon. He was an 88. He was an 88 going into last year. He only jumped up one more overall, which means that his ceiling might be this. I thought we were going to have multiple people jumping up to the 90 overall club. It don't look like it, man. 51 badges right here for Terrell. 55 badges right here for Abraham Ross, who's a two-time MVP. But that's it. We got a lot of studs here. I'm curious about our rookie. That guy just overtook this video. That's the only guy I'm really concerned about right now. I want to see, can he be our MJ? Can he be our LeBron? This era's, you know what I'm saying, greatest player. He comes in as 18. He's already starting off with 23 points per, 7.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and his shooting splits ain't too bad through the first couple weeks. I need to be focusing on Abraham because he is now a three-time MVP at the age of 24. He right now is the gold of the league. He has not won a championship yet. He has not won a championship yet, but he has been the goal of the league. He's been an all-star all four seasons of his career, NBA first team all four seasons of his career, and three-time um, three MVP. I mean, I don't know if somebody going to overtake that, but that's an amazing resume to have very early on. Freddie Cousins ended up winning Rookie of the Year, as we all expect. His numbers are pretty similar to what it was the first couple weeks of the season. Uh, Vic McDonald wins Sixth Man of the Year. He, is, he looks very strong in his picture. I thought he was going to be a big man, but nope. He is a point guard. All rookie first team, or all NBA first team as a rookie. Don't sleep. Do not sleep, bro. Is about to take over the league big time. The Bucks win it. I think that's their first one. They have been the top team in the conference every single season, but I think that's the first one they actually won, so shout out to them. Nope, this is their second. Oh, I forgot. Very early on, the second season we started. They won a championship. So right now, actually, the Bucs are the greatest franchise in this league's history. They undefeated. Well, not undefeated, but they're, they're very good. How about that? They're the Abraham Ross of teams. <laughs> Who'd you say? They're the Abraham Ross of teams. They're, they're very, very good and can occasionally win you some games. All right. First overall pick in this year's draft, 2026. The Miami Heat select Ron Wright Foreman. Like the name. He's a 77, 18-year-old out of high school, but his ceiling is not that high. So who knows what he's going to turn into? I don't know. But this guy has a ceiling of maybe Kevin Durant. This is the second 6'10 guy that's in the draft. Last year, it was Freddie Cousins. Now we got AC Garrett. He's the best player overall-wise in this, in this uh, draft class. He might be a stud for the 76ers. Hey, I'm the 76ers technically. Okay, Lopez ended up hitting 90 overall club, but that's it, man. Freddie Cousins is 88 right now. He's got 31 badges, so that's good that he's getting better. But even the league's GOAT is still just sitting at 77. So he might be done. The 90 overall club might not exist more than a couple players. But the 80 overall club is alive and well, y'all. The 80 overall club, it seems like the majority of the league is 80 or above. So that's a good thing. That's a, I think that's a great thing for the league. Let's see who wins it this time. This man right here, bro. I'm rooting for him to get his championship now. Because they saying a lot about you, my boy. Actually, they saying that you shouldn't have won MVP because you, you, can't, you can't prove that you can do the things in the postseason. You feel me? Conference finals, conference finals. No championship appearances, I don't think, maybe, but I'm not really keeping track like that. Um, so, you know, another Freddy. Freddy Sparks. I like the name Freddy. I think Freddy anything can be dope. Freddy Sparks? That's a, that's a decent name. It's a very decent name. Okay, Freddy Cousins, on the other hand, is up here as well. Uh, I, I think that he might take over Abraham. I think he's going to take over Abraham eventually. Give him like a couple more years. His team starts to be decent. He's going he gonna to take that over. And he's the one seed. Oh, snap. 
Abraham Ross and Freddie Cousins might meet each other in the finals because they're never mind. <laughs> boys got eliminated in the first round. Freddie, what's up, my boy? How did you let that happen? He did not have a good shooting series, but that was his first time in the playoffs. Cut him some slack. Cut him some slack. All right, Abe. Come on, man. You're almost there, Abraham. He can bro cannot get out of the conference finals to save his life. And you know what? This is why. He's a playoff choker. It's a, it's 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 official. Five. For 24, you got 20 assists. He had 20 assists, though. Jesus Christ. Can I be mad at him? Can I be mad at him? I'm a fake be mad at him. 20 assists, but you couldn't score when your team needed you the most. And you let um A. Francis, Alec Francis, 79 overall guy, do that to you. And then Newman. Oh, Newman is actually kind of nasty. Didn't they win a championship recently? I'm pretty sure they won a championship. No, they didn't. But he won most in pro. I knew I, I recognized his name. The Bulls of the 8th seed made it all the way to the finals. And... They, they might, they might, they might do it. They did it as an eight seed. From the play-in, from the play-in, which they lost, by the way, they lost the first game of the play-in, ended up winning the second one to secure their spot, and then went on to win the championship. What a success story for my Chicago Bulls. Can you imagine being at home watching your favorite team go from play-in to championship and winning? I bet there's no better feeling. I bet, I bet there's no better feeling. This year's draft class... They're not giving us a super high end. We had a couple years for sure where we got 80 plus overall rookies, but they're not giving you super high end. They're like, hey, we're going to get it in progression, which is also fine. But like, man, I wanted to draft the next somebody come in and be an 87. You feel me? I didn't even know if that's possible in next gen. I know it's definitely possible on current gen, but next gen, I'm not too sure. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at what the league looks like now. I'm going to take a break and come back to this video in a little bit. Freddie Cousins is now tied for the best player in the league overall wise. Can he win an MVP this season? We shall see. All right, so I'm back. I don't even know where we left off. I just had to refresh my mind, and Freddie Cousins is the one dude that has the potential to potentially hit 99 overall. I also decided to change up the purpose of this video. When I first started, this was not a video that I was trying to stop once we get somebody hit 99. It was just a video I was going to go until I, until I wanted to end it. Now we going until somebody hits 99 overall, until somebody basically becomes the new GOAT. New MVP, it is Cam Boyle, who's close to a 90 overall, so one of the best players in the entire league, shout out to him. But do we really care about any of this? We just basically going at this point until somebody hit that 99 overall. Um, the Washington Wizards, which have Frederick, he not even Freddy no more. You got to earn a nickname, Freddy. Frederick got eliminated in the first round again as the one seed. That's one thing I definitely remember from part one when I filmed this earlier this morning. I remember them being the one seed to lose to the eight, and he just did it again. So I'm, I'm low-key annoyed with him, because even if he hit 99 overall, he won't be my GOAT because he can't get out of the first round. This draft class has an 80 overall, but he's a 21-year-old. You know what I'm saying? There's like a little threshold. It's a threshold when it comes to your age and everything. If you come in at 21 years old, the odds of you hitting 99 overall is pretty low because you already stunned it like two years off of your progression system. He's a 93 at 21 years old. He is our best candidate 100%. There's nobody even close. Like even the other 90 overall, which was Ramon Lopez. Where you at? Was that just you I just passed? Yeah. He's done regressing. So it's really, at this point, the only candidate we have to potentially even do this is Frederick. Again, he's not getting Freddy until he showed me something in the playoffs. For real. Frederick Cousins wins MVP. He averaged 31, 5, and 7. That's amazing stats right there. He's up to a 94, 22 years old. Okay, but with Hugh Ball, I look, listen, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I walked, I, I went past this and thought it said huge. I, I'm keeping it a buck with you. I was, I was a little confused. Hugh Ball, that's the fourth ball, brother. All right. He said, forget the L names. Now, Lamelo, Lonzo, Le Leangelo, it's Hugh. He got tired of it. All right. Frederick, can you get out of the first round? I'm not even asking you to win no championship. Get out of the first round, you can get Freddie as a nickname back. And he did. Freddie, can you get the championship, though? Freddie gets the championship, Freddie Cousins. Just like that, he is in GOAT conversations with the other dude, whose name I forget, who was a point guard, um, Abraham Ross. He's in GOAT conversation with Abraham Ross now because he's now won an MVP and he's done something Abraham didn't do, and that is win that championship. I don't even know if I keep going to the draft because I, I don't think they're going to have a, draft play, a player in the draft that's going to be nearly as close as Freddie is. I'll, I'll simulate through it and see if there's a stud or two. Oh, it's another Freddy and a Gustavo. We ain't have a Gustavo since Gustavo Ion. If you know, you know. Gustavo and another Freddy. Oh, snap. Yo, 
If 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 Frederick Cousins doesn't do it, but Freddie Reed might, or Gustavo might. Okay, we got some good names in this league, bro, for sure. Gustavo, Freddie, and then another Freddie, Hugh Ball. I like auto-generated names a lot. Oh, that's not good. He's a 94 now. He only jumped up one overall. His bad situation did get better, though. That's a sign that he's still getting good, but, like, that's a little scary. You know what I'm saying? People are... Oh, a lot of people only jumped up one. Oh, there's a three. But, like, you want to see two at the very minimum. This kind of tell me that bro might start to plateau. Which means that we might have to focus on Freddie Reed or Gustavo for the rest of the video. And I don't want to do that. No disrespect to Gustavo or Freddie Reed. I definitely just want to see um, um, Freddie Cousins do his thing. I want to see him progress. Freddie goes back to back. His numbers are down just a little bit, but that's okay. Gustavo wins Rookie of the Year. How'd the other rookie do? Freddie Reed put up about 16, four and a half, two and a half rebounds. Okay, all right, we're going to keep it out on both of y'all just in case Freddie not about that for real, for real. I low didn't even look to see the rest of the league. Okay, so Ramon Lopez still a 91. You got Terrell Kersey, who's still really good, but he's 26, so he's probably done progressing. You got Cam Doyle, who won MVP a couple years ago, but he's 27. Most of the players in the league are older. I don't know who you are. Three-time All-Star in his five-year... Damon Hate? How have I not... This is a brand new name for me. He's an 88 at 22. He's definitely not going to hit 99. Oh, well, definitely. He definitely not going to hit 99. I can say that comfortably. He's not going to hit 99, but I'm surprised he's here. I didn't even realize there are a few 22-year-olds out here. 19-year-old Jackson Jones. First overall pick last year. Okay, he's up to an 85 after two seasons. We'll keep an eye on, out on you, too. He's 6'6". A 6'6 point guard is, can do that for sure. All right, Washington is a 2 seed. That's kind of who we're just focusing on for the rest of this video. Uh, at least that's what I think. Can they repeat? They're there. They did not win. But Clifford, they let a guy named Clifford get finals MVP. But Mr. Cousins, you got there two years in a row. And look, you put up almost 50 in that elimination game. I don't know what else they can ask of you. I don't know what else they can ask of you. Clifford got a championship. And Andre Carter, haven't you won? I think that this Clippers team have won a couple championships. Three of them, to be exact. Dude has been here since the very beginning, and he's won three championships. Clippers. Running LA low-key. Low, low, very low-key. I ain't even know if I've been seeing the Lakers in the playoffs, G. This is a Clippers city now. Another 80 overall rookie. This one is Rand Randolph Butler. He might be goaded. He was only got four badges at the center position. Oh, his ceiling is only a starter. Never mind. We ain't, I ain't even looked to see what, like, Freddie Reed and them and all those guys were. But ceiling being a starter means that he's probably going to progress to, like, an 85 and just be at 85, which is cool. But for this video, that don't really do nothing. I just kind of feel we've already hit it. He jumped up one again. Oh, Freddie. All right, man. You put you pushing my, my patience, big fella. Oh, let's go look at some of the other people that we were invested in, at least. Freddie only jumped up one, so his ceiling might not have been crazy. Freddie Reed, that is. His ceiling might not be that crazy, so that's not good. Gustavo was the one that won the Rookie of the Year, so hopefully Gustavo jumped up a bunch. He's up to an 85 in year two. Keep an, keep an eye out on Gustavo. Gustavo might be the savior just in case Freddie Cousins don't do it. Undisputed gold at this point. He's now has matched the three-time MVP um, I don't even know who you are. What were you? 25th overall pick in the second round. Rookie of the year. Okay, not the dude that was an 80-something going into it. Nope, not him. All right, so he did it again with an MVP. His his uh, trophy case is ridiculous. Three MVPs, a championship, six-time All-Star. Basically been an All-Star his entire career. Six-time All-NBA since his entire career. This is, the, this is the real GOAT. Can you get another championship back at the two seat? Oh, no, he's back to losing in the first round. Who cares? The draft has another... 80 overall center. This is Tom Cummings. Um, he has Steven Adams, so he's probably just going to sit around 80 ish, so not a, a person we should be thinking about at all. This is what I figured out. It'd be those tall point guards. It'd be the tall, small fours. If you have a small four that's coming in at 6'10, he probably going to be legendary. If you have a point guard coming in at 6'6, 2K is going to make him legendary. But the centers, it, it takes a lot for the centers to be legendary in this game, bro, for real. So he is up to a 96 now. We are really, really close. The only thing that scares me is that he might hit his peak before. At this path, by 27, he should be a 99. But again, in this game, they have this peak and they have this um, end of peak. Once you hit the start of your peak in this game, at that point, it's a wrap. 
know what I'm saying? You're not going to go over it in any overalls. He might hit his peak soon. He's 24. But Gustavo, in just two seasons, Gustavo was up here. Don't sleep. Goose might have us. These are two candidates right now. It is Goose. It is Freddie. And I guess Jackson Jones should be in there too. He's a 6'6 six, six point guard, like I just said. But at 21, he's a little bit behind the eight ball. Just at least a little bit. Uh, but we're going to see, man. We all, we're all the way 10 years into the future. And we only got one person I think might have a real legitimate chance. He got there again, but lost to the Mavericks. He's looking very LeBron-ish in the sense that, hey, he might make it a bunch of times. Might not, might not have an undefeated record there, but might get a few. You know what I'm saying? Might get a few. And then now you got to determine for yourself what's more important. Getting there and maybe not winning or getting there and winning every single time. Those be the debates, bro, right? Ain't that the, the debate that everybody have every single day in the barbershops or the debates that they have on TV every single day? You make that debate yourself. You have it yourself. All right, so back to the draft. I don't even know why I jumped in here. I doubt this going to have anything. 81 overall rookie is your point guard. That's 6'8". Jack Baldwin. This is our dude. Now, I'm not, I'm not giving up again. I'm not giving up on Freddie Cousins because he's still the GOAT. He's one of the GOATs. But if that fails, a six, was that six, eight, six, nine point guard, whatever that just was, 19 years old, he's not 18, so that hurts in a little bit. 19 year old, I didn't, oh, wait, can I go back? Wait, I need to go back. Please tell me you've got like good Hall of Fame. I need somebody that, that's a Hall of Fame, but he's, he's starting off so far behind at a 20 year old at a 70, uh, 75. Uh, okay, I thought, I thought he was gonna be the dude. Gary Payton as a ceiling is dope, but Gary Payton ain't never been close to no 99. Bro, he's still slowly climbing. He is still slowly climbing. Can you can you grow for two more years? That's all. I need two more seasons. Just by one. I ain't asking for... Yo, Goose is nasty. Forget all of this. Even if you broke... Goose got us. Goose got us 1,000%. I ain't even got to think about it no more. Goose has got a 7-3 center. He can hit his threes. He ain't the most efficient, but he stretches at least a little bit. Goose got us 1,000%. I'm not even worried about it. I was, you know what I'm saying? I'm worried about Freddie Cousins. Is, is he going to still get better at the age of 26, 27? Don't matter. Freddie, I don't think Freddie, was Freddie at 92 at 21 years old? I actually feel like he was. All I need is for him to go up one more. Just one more. I'm not even asking for nothing more. You just do the same thing you did last year in the offseason. And everything is fine. And we can walk out of here and say that, ah, oh, we did it. We got to the end. You won a championship. That's got to be boosted. You got you got to get boosted at that point. You shot 50% from the field, 50% from three in the, in the championship. In the finals, I think that's all. I ain't even want to go to the to the um, draft, any of that. We're going straight down to player progression. And we're going to go over. And we're going to see if Freddie did it. Did Freddie just save us? From all of the turmoil, again, I, I still think that Goose Nunnally is going to do his thing too, just in case. But I'm, I'm curious. <gasps> oh, that, yo, my heart just dropped. Okay, he switched teams. Interesting. Now we get to go across the league and, and figure out where he plays now. Play that game. No way he did not progress. He did not progress, y'all. I thought that was the raps. I thought that was the end. He did not progress. Nunnally, on the other hand, jumped up too. I have to hope that he has another in-season success story. If he has another in-season success story, that's all I need. But I don't even know if that's pop. Like, with a morale boost, he'll hit 99. But that's not what we're here for. We're not here for no morale boost. We're not here for no morale boost. But, dang, bro. Only thing, only consolation prize is that at least Mr. Gustavo is out there hooping his butt off. On a way faster track to do this. Goose wins MVP. Oh no. Freddie won defensive player of the year though. All right, Freddie. I didn't even realize what team he went to. He went to the Rockets. I didn't even know. I mean, if you were 98 overall, of course your defense is going to be elite. But that was the first time he actually won the award. He's a 99. He, he did it. He did it. I mean, I did it. he did it. 99 overall, Freddie. 97 Goose. I'm low-key invested in Goose too though. Oh, D Houston, Houston Rockets, Rockets. You had a 99 overall player on your team and you might not make the playoffs? You didn't make the play. Oh, snap. I This is done. It, the challenge is done. You can start to regress down to zero. But I'm curious to see if Goose is going to do it too. That's all. Uh, AC got all the way to the finals and lost. 
I'm just curious to see if Goose is gonna do it this season or come close. And I think I can call the wraps, man. This was definitely a longer video. It took 13 seasons, 14 seasons, whatever you wanna call it, and it happened. It took some time, but it happened. Freddie Cousins, official, official. Official, official, great. Orlando Magic, 97. He's, on, he's only 23. So even if Cousins didn't do it, this was our dude, 1,000%. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Let me know in the comment section so I know you watched the entire video. Are you team Gustavo or are you team Cousins? Yeah, let me know. I appreciate y'all. See you tomorrow. Peace.